Hello, my beautiful Aries. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com, here to bring you your monthly forecast for July 2018 for your career and your finance. So this is going to be all about money, all about career. So stay tuned, okay? Um, so if this doesn't resonate with you at all, just check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. So check out those other videos pertaining to your astrology. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, if you want more information on your personal situation or if this doesn't resonate with you, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. So what I'm going to start out first with is an intuitive message, and then we're going to jump into the reading. Okay. Okay, my Aries. Um, I feel that you're going to have some kind of new opportunity coming up. Um... It's going to be something maybe you have, you've been waiting on or having to be patient about. And maybe you're going to feel that's either lucky to you or it's going to be something that, that you feel that it was an opportunity that was very lucky in a way. Okay. All right, guys. Now let's jump right in here. Okay. So let's see what's going on your current finances and career. So what's going on my uh, Aries current finance and career for July 2019? What's going on with the current finance and career for July 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so it looks like something you're dealing with is definitely making you feel mentally hurt or you're dealing with a lot of I don't know, a lot of mental strain here with the Three of Swords energy. Uh, something is definitely not feeling too good for you right now. Um, because of the fact that you have some kind of choice to make, the Two of Wands energy. And maybe you possibly you see, see something you, you kind of like, but you're still a little bit confused about what the right option is here. Okay? All right, so let's kind of move on here to see what the blockage is. So let me just move this out of the way. We shuffle here. See what is the blockage. Okay, what's the blockage to my Aries finances for July 2019? What's their blockages, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Hmm. Definitely seems to be something surrounding that choice. There's something that you feel like maybe um, maybe somebody's backstabbing you with the Ten of Swords energy. Um, maybe you just because you just feel like you're you're backstabbed and you have a lot of burden on your mind. You feel like you have a lot of burden on your shoulders. And these are ten, so it's all about completing something to start something new here. And emotionally, you possibly may feel like you're not getting an equal give and take at, with your career and finances, and you're trying to be patient when it comes to this. Um, but definitely the blockage is possibly something to do with some kind of backstabbing or someone's hurting you in some way, or you're feeling hurt about the situation and you feel burdened by it, and you want to end something, to start something new, because you feel like something's not an equal give and take in the situation, but you've been very patient about it. Okay, so now let's see. What is your strength here for the situation? What's your strength? So what's Aries, Summon Rising, Venus sign? What's their strength? What's their strength for their career and finance for July 2019? What's their strength? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So your strength is actually to take charge of the situation with the chariot card. Um, chariots can also represent some kind of travel here. Um, they can also represent just being a leader in this, taking charge of this to be victorious. Obviously, it's something you need to do, okay, Aries? Um, and the Knight of Swords tells me something to do with cutting something out and doing it quickly. And the, the um, strength card represents having courage to do it, okay? So your strength here is... You know, taking charge of the situation to cut something out or to do it quickly and to have courage about it, okay? Or to move towards your passion. So if you want something that you're feel more passionate about because you're feeling like you're backstabbed, feel like something is hurt, feels weak to you, you feel like it's not really going your way, you need to take control of the situation and go towards your passion with the strength card or use your courage 
to go towards what is going to make you successful and victorious here with the strength. Okay. Let me just see what's happened in the past has affected the current state for you. What's something in the past has affected er Aries' uh, current financial and career state here for July 2019? What's something from their past has affected their current state? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So it looks like something to do about weighing options here with the Two of Pentacles energy. Uh, possibly competition or arguments or disputes with the Five of Wands energy. And there we go, temperance. Not something that's not an equal give and take that you've been patient about. I want to see if there's any potential opportunities for you guys coming up, okay? And then we're going to look at some hidden factors here. So is there any potential opportunities coming up for my Aries? For their finance and career for July 2019. Any potential opportunities for them coming up for their career and finance for July 2019? Show the cards I need to see. Show the cards I need to see. So it does look like something that would, uh, a message uh, or something from a younger water sign person, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or a new path that you're going to be fulfilled about. There is something new here though. Um, and Ten of Pentacles shows me something to do with something that's new that potentially could bring you a lot of money, Ten of Pentacles, or something pertaining to family, Ten of Pentacles, or something that uh, you can invest a lot of time with. Um, that could be some kind of potential long-term thing here. Um, yeah, and give you great stability for Wands energy, okay? And the Four of Wands also can represent real estate, housing. But Fours in general are about stability, Stableness, structure, okay? All right, so now let me see here if there's any hidden factors for my Aries for their career and finance. Is there any hidden factors that we need to know about for Aries? Someone rising Venus sign for their finance and career for July 2019. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So it's just more or less it's waiting with the hangman to see what you have to sacrifice here it's the waiting that's the hidden one pertaining to being left out in the cold so the hidden factors or the influences are pretty much waiting and kind of a feeling of being left out in the cold because the devil shows some kind of bondage addiction depression or procrastination here this is also representing a capricorn so something about you uh waiting uh and feeling left out in the cold and feeling like it's not quite right. Maybe you feel depressed about it. Uh, maybe you're procrastinating on making a decision here with the devil card. Okay. So now let's kind of see what's a potential outcome here for the situation. I want to find out what your hope is for the situation and then we're going to do an overall. Okay. So what is the potential what is the potential near future outcome for my Aries financing career for July 2019 okay that feels good so this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This is the Knight of Wands energy. So this is showing me that you look like you're going to move towards something that you're passionate about. And you are going to take charge with the Chariot card to be victorious because you want an equal give and take. Six of Pentacles energy or, or something to do with someone's charitable towards you. Six of Pentacles is, uh, of course, something to do with charity, um, giving and taking and so forth. So it looks like you want an equal give and take. You're going to move towards your passions here. That's going to be the near future because, and the bottom of the deck says something to do with the Two of Wands energy because of a choice, an option here. Okay. So I want to get a different perspective before we go any further. And also I want to get you guys some advice. So let me, let me get the Lenormand on this. I want to see if I can get more information about this potential near outcome here 
and about this opportunity. So tell me about this opportunity, Spirit. Tell me about this opportunity for Aries for their career in finance for July 2019. Can you give me more information about this opportunity? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Lilies. Okay, lilies is something to do with uh, passion. So it could be something you're very passionate about. It could involve somebody older with the lilies. Uh, sun represents something that's revealed or something pertaining to your happiness here. And the moon is reputation. Okay, reputation. It's something... So it could be an uh, older person or something to do with a long time pertaining to happiness and the moon is something pertaining to a reputation. Um, the key is somebody who's older or something pertaining to a passionate situation. Uh, the sun is, is also there because of something to do with the snake. So the snake represents, it could be an enemy, okay? There could be somebody you could be dealing with that maybe isn't quite right in your work or career situation because snakes can represent enemies. Um, and the sun is right below it. So something could be revealed about something that's not quite right here about the situation. And the reputation represents something to do with something uh, pertaining to love. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So the potential opportunity could come from uh, a situation where you feel passionate about it, the lilies, or something to do with someone older, which is the key. The sun is saying to me that basically it's something that pertaining to your happiness or something to do with something that is revealed about something that's not quite right, the snake card, which can be an enemy or it could be just something that you feel is not quite right at your workplace. The moon card represents reputation when it comes to work, it's reputation. So, or something that's recognized pertaining to what you love. So that is surrounding the opportunity here. Okay. I want to get some, uh, I want to find out what your hopes are for the situation. What is Aries' hopes for the situation, for the career in finance? What's Aries' hopes for the career in finance for July 2019? What's their hopes? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So the moon represents something that's hidden to you. So you want something revealed. Uh, you want to get something revealed because you're trying to gain some kind of mental clarity. You want to be victorious in the situation. Um, and Ten of Swords is you want to end some kind of pain that you're dealing with or something to do with some kind of backstabbing there with the Ten of Swords energy. So let me get the overall outcome and then get you guys some advice, okay? Okay, so it says something to do with, we have a couple nines here when I cut the deck. Um, Spirit wants me to make note of it, so I will. Uh, you're defensive, actually, about fulfilling your wishes, Nine of Cups, Okay. There's a certain attainment with the nines. So you're defensive. You're defensive about uh, fulfilling your wishes in the cups. All right, what is going to be the potential overall outcome for my Aries career in finance for July 2019? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So it looks like you're going to be weighing some options, Aries. Two of pentacles. And you're going to be indecisive about what to do because there's going to be worry and anxiety within you about where to go with this, okay, pertaining to the Empress, which is abundance. So the overall outcome for July, you're going to be in a state of, okay, these both look really good. I'm a bit indecisive about what to do because you're worried and anxious about which one's going to be the best uh, opportunity as far as abundance go, and which one you really love with the Empress card. Okay, so that's going to be the overall um, let's get you some advice. Okay, where is my... There we go. Can I have some advice for my Aries career in finance? What should they do? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Ooh, okay, detox your friendship here. Okay, I did see, you know, a potential person that could be an enemy, someone who could be backstabbing you. Okay, so that's one thing there, Aries. Uh, it is safe for you to give and receive. Well, we did see the Six of Pentacles. What does that mean? It's about an equal give and take. We saw the Temperance several times. Maybe you feel like you're not deserving, like you need uh, an equal give and take, but you do. 
Um, and no more complaining. Yes, no more complaining. Don't procrastinate. You need to make this decision, Aries, of, about your situation. So Spirit's advice is to detox your friendships. Uh, it is safe for you to give. Uh, a, it is safe for you to receive, okay? Because maybe you feel like um, you want to give, 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 but you don't feel right about receiving. It is, it is okay for you to receive. And no more complaining. So if you are procrastinating on making a decision, you need to make this decision. As you, as we saw before, your strength is to take charge of the situation, to cut something out, okay, uh, pertaining to courage or strength or towards your passion. So if there's something to do with something you need to make a decision about pertaining to, you know, your job or your career, and you need to, to go for it, you need to take charge of this. If it's something pertaining to this friendship, you need to have the courage to cut someone out and take charge of this to be victorious, okay? All right, my Aries. Um, also at the bottom of the deck, it says unlimited ideas. Um, your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take the action to allow these ideas to come into fruition. So they're saying that don't be indecisive about it. Take the action, okay? Okay, guys, if you like this, please like and subscribe. And, of course, if this doesn't resonate with you at all and you would like a personal reading with me, you can always go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the link in the description box. Guys, have a great month, okay? I love you guys so much.